So I've had this idea for quite some time when I saw these motors on Amazon and I was pretty sure that I could uh, couple them together and run them off of one throttle. What this basically does is it gives you the ability to have more power uh, if you want to run some larger projects. I plan on using th these two motors here to run a outboard boat motor and also I was thinking of using one of these to soup up one of my kids uh, Mario Kart go-karts just as another fun project. So you might be asking why would you buy two motors and two controllers when you could just buy one larger motor with a larger controller and the simple answer to that is that these motors are really cheap. You can get them on Amazon delivered to your door for 200 bucks. The other question that people are going to ask is, won't you lose half the power if you're running it off of one throttle? And that's why we have two motor controllers. The throttle basically is what's called a potentiometer. And a pet potentiometer sends a low voltage signal to the speed controller. And then the speed controller takes the power from the battery and sends that to the motor. And so what we're doing is we're sending the same signal to two different speed controllers. And then those speed controllers are sending the full power to each motor. And when I finally do get this all put together, it's both motors and speed controllers are going to have their own battery source. And so they will be getting full power, but they will be running off of one throttle. Hopefully this all makes sense. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to just show you how to bench test uh, the motors and the controllers. So I got a couple batteries out of uh, one of those senior scooters and these are a couple batteries that come out of the kids uh, ride on toys these are 12 volts each and we basically put them together in this fashion positive negative positive negative positive negative and this gives us 48 volts I basically run the 48 volts to the speed controller the negative goes to goes to the black wire and the positive goes to the red wire and then I've just jumped those wires over to the other speed controller. And from the speed controller to the motor, you've got three wires. You've got your yellow, blue, and green. And those go to your yellow, blue, and green. And I've done that on both of these. As well as there's the one five-prong plug that gets plugged in. And I've done that on both of them. The other thing that I've done is the shutoff switch which is the, right here, it's the orange and red wires. I put a jump wire in there. This gets a switch later, but for now I've just jumped it so it will act like it's on. So if this had a switch on it, then you'd flick it on and off and that would turn the motors on and off. But for now it's just jumped just to test it. And then I've done the same thing on this side. And then what I've done is I've got the throttle connected to both speed or motor controllers. So it sends the signal to the motor controllers, which is jumped together right here. It's clipped into this side and then it's moretted into this side. And so when I turn this, if you look at the motors, both motors will go on at the same time as I turn the speed controller. Now later what I'm going to do is get some more batteries, so each one of these will be running off of their individual battery sources, but uh, just to show you how that's hooked up and get it running. So if you've got one of these 48 volt uh, go-kart motor kits, then what you'll need to do is get a 48 volt battery. You can put four 12 volt batteries together or you can get some 48 volt uh, bike batteries that would work. There's also a few ride-on lawnmowers that run 48 volts, so you could technically use those as well, although I find that they're quite a bit more expensive. And then you can wire the batteries together and you can run your motor controller off of that. The red, gray, and black wires that come out of the motor controller are for the potentiometer. And when you buy your motor kit, it comes with either a hand handle throttle like for a motorbike or a foot pedal for a go-kart you can also 
order dial potentiometers if you want something that will go on and stay on and hook it up to these three wires because that's all these are is potentiometers inside of a throttle or a potentiometer inside of a foot pedal. So there's several things that I'd like to use these motors for. The first one I'm going to try is the outboard electric conversion. I was also thinking about souping up my kids electric ride-on Morio Kart car, possibly converting my lawnmower over to electric, converting this electric dozer to a little bit more power. What are some of the things that you think would be great for these motors? And if you want to see more videos like this or continuation of this series, like and subscribe and have a great day.